He's looking in the mirror, don't know what to say, but I'm happy the man I is. The game's dramatic album, which is executive produced by another the Hit Boy himself. Hit Boy's been going absolutely crazy in the production for the last like two, three years now. But the game, dramatic, is finally here. It's been pushed back a few times this year, but the album's finally here. We got a couple singles from earlier this year. Of course, we know Easy with Kanye West earlier this year, and the whole thing with Pete Davidson and now Pete Davidson and Kim K is broken up. But that's a whole other different conversation. And uh, well, the track we listen to today is titled "The Black Sim Shady." Now, Eminem, not Eminem, the game has been writing about not only Eminem but also Dr. Dre. Fifty Cent, you know him and Fifty Cent been beefing for damn near twenty years now. Y'all motherfuckers old as hell still beefing. That's a different discussion, for a different day. But he was been going at it, especially Eminem and Dr. Dre. They were going at it, even his raps and rhymes, even Easy. He was talking about how much he disliked Dr. Dre and also some of his other features as well. He's been featured a few times this year and in the past few years. He's been, he's been, the game is consistent out here, been consistent, but he's going on. This track is ten and a half minutes long. This is a ten and a half. This is probably the longest diss track of all time. Not only, like I said, now this is not only obviously it's the Black Sim Shady. So obviously he's going to mention Eminem, but it's also going in terms of, like I said, Dr. Dre, Fifty Cent, and probably the variety of others. I don't know what he's going to say for ten and a half minutes. Well, I guess we're going to find out. It's going to be a long video because the song itself is ten and a half minutes. So let's just see. What does the game have to say for ten and a half minutes? Start off with a skit and a phone call. Hey, Grandma. Yeah, I'm still out making my Uber runs. I'll be home soon. Kind of close to eight mile. Okay. Okay. Eminem, eight mile. Shame. Okay. Okay. G unit, and the beat kind of sounds like. Eminem, Dr. Dre, S, some shady early era at this. So it's come around full circle, out the gate, around the city, around the gate. You already get the references. Already right, around the gate. Flowing like 50 Cent was. Stick my dick in your podcast? I don't know about that one in the game. I, I don't know about that one. <laughs> Let's carry on. Ooh, what? All right, we're about two minutes in. We're about two minutes in the track. We still got eight and a half to go. In my basement last night. I was Dr. Dre. Last night I went ancient last night. I lost my taste in my smell. I got a Marion. Me and Dr. Fouch last night. Take a shit in their yard. And my dick stay hard. When I see Lizzo on the internet. Another BBL. My dick gets... My dick is, gets hard when I see Lizzo. I hope not. It's, it's just another BBL. <laughs> Lord, Jesus. Is the sm I'm not even gonna get into that. Just what the game? Just what? <laughs> Crypto, I tiptoe with my red rag around six souls. Chunk? Yeah. Nice beat switch right there. The my brother Stan, rest in peace. Whoa. He came to this hat 22 years ago. Damn. Stan, Eminem, yeah. Who signed it for you? Eminem. He used to be like this rap god. Man, man, wait. I know where we're going. Wait, why do you have a good. Hey, man, I'm trying to know. Get the are you sounding jealous the game the game sounds jealous he's upset Eminem because he's around I understand he's a white man in a black culture I, I, I truly understand that but he earned that, you know? He 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 earned his notoriety. He he wrapped his ass off. He put in several he's been rapping in four different decades. He's you know, some people have gone up and down, especially in the last four, five, six years, the last few albums from Eminem, but he still has earned his respect in the hip hop. He earned that. It wasn't given to him. He wrapped his ass off, told excellent stories, told about his life, and he just did it in a perfect fashion that he could have done it. And you 
sound like he's kind of jealous that he getting the rapping notoriety, the the comparisons, and being told he's a legend. He's inspired many other rappers that's come up underneath him. Like who's the name of rapper that hasn't been inspired by Eminem in some way, shape, or form? He sounded kind of jealous. The game. I, I ain't gonna lie. He sounded kind of jealous. Executive produced it, I just imagined it. Oh, here goes the magic tricks, candy shops, and the magic stick. Couldn't it be the white voice, the five nine? I just crossed the fine line. <laughs> Now you drinking in, drinking in, bringing in Voice of the Five Nine of this. You know, Voice of the Five Nine and, and uh, Eminem go way back, like four flats on the Cadillac. Like, you know, they come from the same area in, in Michigan, um, surrounding the greater Detroit area. Voice of the Five Nine is the most peaceful person you could ever meet. He wants to be for nobody. He wants everyone to be happy go lucky around here. We all happy and share wealth with one another. Why you gotta bring Voice of the Five Nine of this, man? He said Eminem was trying to be the white version of Voice of the Five Nine. They are totally separate people and they got. The game, yeah, yeah, like, why? Why? And the biggest rap in Detroit, that a boy is Sean Dom, so I'm caught the shot and stick. Shout out to Big Sean. I rather listen to Snitch 9, like, 69 times, and participate Snitch in 69 nine. with 69 nuns, then lock in the air, like Phil Collins, listen to him, he's still wildin'. Ah, MC's chasing me around, MC Hyman. I think, uh, nothing rhymes with orange, so 50, 50, slim, shady, please stand up. I'm cold as COVID, Ebola, the Spanish flu. <laughs> my man went through the whole like significant pandemics within the last like decade or so. He went through Zika, Ebola, uh, uh, obviously COVID. Uh, he went through the, the simple flu, and I think I'm missing one more. He went through the whole catalog <laughs> or the list of different pandemics that's happened in the last like 10, 15 years or so. Once again, let's carry on. Renegade! Wait, 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 wait. Let, let me pause it again. Speaking of Renegade, I've, I've been thinking about this lately. Because every time I hear Renegade, I'm like, I think we should get a Renegade Part 2 from Eminem and Jay-Z. Because it's like, imagine a, a modern day version of Renegade from Jay-Z and Eminem. Them just going back and forth for five and a half minutes back then. That was just absolutely insane. I wish they would do that again. Just give us a Renegade Part 2 and I'll be happy, man. I'll be happy, man. You are not top five in my big or pot eyes. No Andre, no Nas. Stop telling white lies. Sniff on me this. You love your mother? Well, I'm cleaning out your closet for you and your head brother. And I yeah, told you when yeah. I was a teacher. That's why I'm doggy and style. Because niggas rather bump snoop. And I'm a lyrical 50 cap. Leave a page in Dr. Dre. <laughs> Got a lot to say, but since Curtis always do, let him write the rhymes for you. Because so the 50 cents. So the chick on the show wasn't picking me, and Mariah wasn't picking you. So the can is blended through red for 10 years and never had one wave. Now is that runaway slave that they buried in the now here, hoping ready. This is not mom's spaghetti. This your dad was twisted. Mom's spaghetti. Little Debbie, just to see her son out here looking like a wigger in jeans. Little Marshall Mathis. Man, you like his slip? I made it just for you. I even kidnapped Stan's brother and baited him in for you. God made you damn it. Nice little closure. And that's the game, the Black Sim Shady. God damn, it's a long ass track. Ten and a half minutes. God damn, that's gotta be the longest diss track of all time. But uh, yeah, the game. Talk about Eminem. Mostly Eminem, Dr. Dre, and 50 Cent. Uh, mostly, obviously, Eminem. The title track is called The Black Sim Shady. Uh, nice little storyline he had there with him and Uber driving to 8 Mile to go kidnap Eminem and then paging Dr. Dre and also 50 Cent tagging along. So, nice little storyline he put in there. Uh, but, yeah, yeah, he does, I, guess, I guess he did this track because he referenced, he referenced Eminem in different capacities from his also personas. Mom Spaghetti, <laughs> the meme about um, 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 obviously everything with his mother uh, in the closet, much uh, uh, renegades, many many different Eminem references. Dr. Dre, he didn't really attack Dr. Dre too much. I guess more so like the, the record label behind everything that with the game, and obviously Fifty Cent, their their beef go way back like Four Flats on Cat, like I said earlier on in the track. Um, but yeah, it's just. It was just all over the place. Didn't need to be ten and a half minutes long, but the game had to get that all that off his chest. 
and it's just like, God damn, sir, ten and a half minutes, you could have condensed it, and then I'll give you five. There's two different people, I'll give you five, but ten and a half, god damn. Um, but yeah, he, like I said earlier on in the video, he definitely sounds jealous of Eminem, the all the notoriety, the success he's had for the several decades he's been rapping, you know, Eminem is turning, he's 49 now, but he's going to be turning 50, so he's been doing this for so, so long, so it sounds like Eminem, it sounds like the game is jealous of Eminem, of all the success he has, he wishes that he had uh, Eminem's success in the, compa in the comparisons and the greatness that surrounds him and everything that comes with being Eminem. Uh, it sounds like, like I said many, many times, it sounds like the game is jealous of, of course, Eminem, but also Dr. Dre and 50 Cent and success he had. I guess he just doesn't feel though he didn't get the much success as he think he should have, but I don't know. I don't know. Let me down below what y'all think about the track. What you think about the game? Do you think he's jealous? Do you think he's bitter? Of the whole, whole thing. What do you think it was going to go from here? Are we going to get a response from Eminem or 50 Cent? Or are they all going to come, all three going to come together and gang up on the game? I think that would go crazy. I think I mentioned this last week on the uh, Is This Love for 50 Cent uh, Eminem Dr. Dre produced track. Maybe they'll all three of them come together just to gang on the game, just end this man's whole career. <laughs> It'll probably be the end of it. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe Eminem was fine. No, Eminem love challenges. Eminem loves some diss track challenges. Even the last time he did it with MGK. Maybe that man switched to a whole different genre. This man stuff became a rock star. <laughs> so. Comment down below what you think we're going to move from here. What you think about the track. But uh, the game, the Black Slim Shady, you jealous, homie. You, you, I'm sorry, but you, needless to say, I think you're jealous. But comment down what you think about the track. So, if you like the video, please like the video. I got more content like this always coming soon. So please subscribe god damn ten and a half minutes of you being jealous of the game i just i don't know, I don't know. I just, maybe we give a response from eminem and crew who, who knows who knows i guess there's only way to find out right it's on time with him only time with her see y'all next video peace